September of 2015, Christy's life changed forever. Both of her children were taken out of her custody due to abuse allegations. And while she was trying to get them back, new allegations arose that she and her father, Bill, sexually abused the kids as well. They are both currently out on bond for sexual criminal conduct with a minor or attempt, victim under the age of 11. And today, Bill and Christy want to clear their names. Take a look. Christy is one of the greatest mothers I've ever known. Her girls love her and adore her. Bill is a grandfather, and at their age, I wish I would have had somebody like him in my life because he cares for those girls. He loves them. When the girls were taken, it was very dramatic. One of my older kids had went to school that morning and she had gotten her shirt wet and they went to change it and they found a bunch of bruises that were in different stages of healing, they said. And um, they um, accused me and my father of abuse, but I would never abuse my children ever. <laughs> she fell a lot when she was like at home playing. <laughs> Two days before, they had seen the bruises. She had fallen off the swing set at um, my dad's house where we were staying at the time. All I know is that I did not abuse my children and I've never seen my father abuse them either. The last time I saw them has been like three years ago. They were saying that me and my father had done horrible things to my girls, which we didn't. At first, Christy was arrested and then the very next day they arrested her father on the same allegations. They're facing anywhere from on each count. Christy is looking at one count and Bill is looking at two counts. And if that happened, I would never see my kids again. It's been three years now, two years since the allegations, and I just can't wrap my head around her spending the rest of her life in prison for something that never happened. I just want my kids back. <laughs> 2015, we was trying to get a splinter out of my grandbaby's foot, and she had her foot laying in my lap. And I was sitting at the computer, and she was laying back on the bed, and she was laying on the bed frame. And bless her little heart, she was crying like everything. And, and uh, we held her down for about like a minute. And she <laughs> bouncing around, and she bounced on the bed frame of the bed. And uh, I told my daughter, she went and give her a bath, and she come back in there in a little while, and she raised her little gown and she said, Papa, look at my back. And I said, what done that baby? And she said, the bed. And it looked just like she had been laying in the bed in. And it was like red streaks, you know. So we didn't think nothing about it. So we carried her to school the next day. And uh, that evening when we got there to pick her up from school, the police and the DSS was sitting there. So uh, they said that she had bruises all over where he had abused her and all, you know. And they said the bruises was, looked like fingerprints and it was in all different stages of healing and all kind of like that, you know. And uh, we told them that we had never abused our babies or nothing like that, you know. So uh, they took both of the babies then. And uh, so uh, they done a 30-day investigation and they never found nothing, you know. And so they wouldn't let it go. And about a year after they kept the babies, they come up with this criminal sexual conduct thing all kind of things like that and, and you know that's crazy as everything. So they initially were taken away for uh, the bruising on the back, the open up investigation, they took both, you had two children at the time. Yes sir. They take them away and while they're away allegations come up of sexual abuse of uh, penetrating with foreign objects. Yes sir, uh, those allegations. Oral, oral uh, sex assault against a child. Yes, um, and so when you hear these uh, now you're being investigated for the sexual assaults, yes, right? Yes, sir. Now yes, what sir. happens? Uh, now, uh, you know, we told them, no, we're not going to let this go. So uh, August the 24th of 2017, I was cleared through family court. Uh, I went to family court and I had a public defender lawyer. And uh, she told me, I come to court that morning, and she said that I had two ways to go. She said I could let the judge, try, you know, try me then or I could plead no contest, you know. Oh, so you were charged with criminal uh, sexual Yes, sir. Okay. You know, so uh, she said I could plead no contest. Well, I went to Brazen Cane in, and she said, I said, I ain't pleading guilty to nothing. I said, I hadn't done anything. I said, well, what does no contest mean? And she said, 
And she just quit talking, you know, and she said, it's just like it never happened. I said, well, what are we doing here to start with? So uh, that's what I've done. I, so you played no contest? Yes, sir. And Do you plead the same way? No, sir. They never offered me that. And what did you get? They um, had me terminate my rights because my lawyer convinced me that it was the best decision that day for my two oldest kids. Came you and said, this is what's best for your kids, terminate your rights. Well, he said it was best for me at the time because that way they could use nothing against me. Against you for what? In criminal court. They, could, they were lying on us and they couldn't So they anything. basically said, give your kids away and we won't charge you. Yes, sir. And you said, okay. That's what my lawyer said was the best decision. But what was in your heart? I wouldn't have terminated my rights. Well, it was you. What do you mean if it wasn't me? It, it was I you. mean, he pretty much forced me into terminate them. How did he force you? They took advantage of her, Steve. Yeah, he, he pretty much forced me into How did he force papers. you? I mean, because he said um, that they couldn't use anything against me if I... What if they did use something against you? Who cares? I mean, you're giving your kids away forever? So why not roll the dice and fight? <laughs> Are you guilty? No, sir. I'm never not, physically never abused them? Never physically abused them? No, sir. Never sexually abused them? No, sir. So you never did anything wrong and you gave your kids away? Are you telling me that's what happened? Yes, sir. Well, he said... When now, they my said... wife was saying something about you being a Marine, right? Yes, sir. Every what did they teach you in the Marine Corps? Yes, sir. I was a Marine, too. Yes, sir. I know okay. you are. They told us never to give up, right? Yes, sir. You never fight to the very up. end. That's the reason we're here now. Right. So, but she didn't do that. Well, see, I didn't know about it. I didn't know anything about this. You didn't think to confer with your father about whether to give your kids away? They wouldn't let us. And, and, and what's the charges you're both facing now? Criminal sexual conduct with a minor under 11 years old. And this, this of the kids that were already taken away? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Because now you met a guy and you had another child. Yes, sir. And that child, they came in and they took that child as soon as you gave birth? Yes, sir. Why'd they do that? Because of the sexual allegations coming up. They um, had a whole year and they didn't come up with anything until a year later when I had my youngest. You're telling me you keep having kids and they keep getting taken away and you've done nothing wrong and you might never see them again? Yes. We, we haven't seen them in three years. Have you ever before been accused of a sex crime? Yes, sir, I have. By who? Oh. <clears throat> when Christy was uh, eight years old, a member, family member accused me of sexually abusing Christy, and I carried it to family court, and it just come up unfounded. Okay. Oh. Have you ever been accused of a sex crime? No, sir, no, okay. this. Tom, you've been listening backstage? Yes, sir. Do you have any problem with my line of questioning here? No, sir, I don't. I know she's not capable of doing something like this, let alone like thinking criminal about sexual it. Yes, sir. Okay, Christy, you took a lie detector test, and this is concerning sexual abuse. We asked you, have you ever touched your daughter for your own sexual gratification? You answered no. Did you allow your father to sexually molest your daughters? You answered no. And the results came back the same to each question. And it came back that you, Christy, concerning the sexual abuse, told the truth. <laughs> now, Bill took a lie detector test. Now, we know that you didn't allow him to do it. He answered no. He told the truth. <laughs> Did you ever strike punch, kick, hit, slap, strike with an object, any of your grandchildren leaving marks or bruises? You answered no. Did you cause any of those bruises to your granddaughter's back? You answered no, and the results of those two questions came back that you did not tell the truth. <laughs> what is going on here? Your dad physically abused these kids. That's, that's a lie, Steve. That's a lie. And we asked you the same questions as we asked him. Did you ever strike, punch, kick, hit, slap, strike, any of your children leaving marks or bruises? You answered no. Did you cause any of the bruises on your daughter when she was taken out of your custody? You answered no. And the results for your lie detector test is that you did not tell the truth. <laughs> They're taking your children away forever. And you're going along with that deal. Like, you get the <laughs> my stage. Do you like what you see? All new episodes are coming, and you do not want to miss out. Click subscribe now.
Thank <laughs> you.